Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome! My name is Sylvia and today I've got another unboxing video for you. So you might have seen my previous video about my 12 favourite Korean skincare products and if you haven't seen that, then make sure to check that out as well because there I talked about um, my favourite products from Wish Trends specifically and Wish Trends is basically my favourite Korean skincare web shop and I buy all my Korean skincare there. I actually created that video because there was a Black Friday sale coming up and almost all products were 50% off. I think that was like a minimal of about 20 to 30 percent um, and sometimes even 60 percent. So the discounts were huge. So what I did I bought a lot of things. I bought things that I use and that I love and I also bought things that I really wanted to try um, and some things that I specifically bought for Thailand because I am going to Thailand next month um, and it's winter here in the Netherlands and your skin needs different products in the winter than the summertime so I got summertime products for my vacation because I am going away for almost two months so I do need a specific skincare routine for Thailand. So in, in this video I want to share with you the items that I bought and I am not going to open all of them because these are products that I will be using for the rest of the year. So if I'm going to open everything then at the end of the year they won't be that fresh. So um, yeah, I am just going to show some of the items that I am able to share with you right now. Um, and if you want to see some other items that are bought and my top 12, then be sure to check out my previous video. Now I think I bought about $350 worth of items. I am not joking, but um, I paid half. So I think I paid about $175 for everything. And on top of that, they provided me with a lot of free stuff to try out because I placed such a big order. And it actually arrived in three boxes. So um, there's this one. And then uh, this is one, and I'm still here by the way, I'm still here. So these, these are the products that I got, and yeah, let's get straight into this haul. Now before I show you the items that I bought, I really want to share with you all the free stuff that I got, including these vouchers. Um, so yeah, with every order placed, you receive a voucher and I actually placed two separate orders. One very, very large order and a second smaller order because I realized that um, I'd forgotten a few things because I didn't want to spend that much money. But um, when I got the first order, I realized, oh, I really need to get this as well and this and I forgot that. Oh. Um, so yeah, I placed the second order. So I've got two scratch cards and I already scratched one of them, which says fourth place. And fourth place is actually a 5% off voucher. So I already got that one in the pocket. Now let's scratch this baby and see what I got. Dun, dun, so exciting. Ah, it's fourth place again. So I got two vouchers of 5% off. Now I also received these two packages and um, I was actually only supposed to get one, but apparently they gave me two, yay! Oh, sorry for the noise. Ooh. Ooh. Free samples and 
there's a tiny mandelic acid, yay! Which is perfect for traveling. I am going to take this with me to Thailand. A soft airy UV essence, yay! I actually bought this one, so I will share that with you as well. Oh, there are such great samples in here. How many samples are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve samples and a sheet mask. Yes, this is amazing. I love this. I'm really, really happy with this because I usually do not buy sheet masks because you can only use them one time and then you have to throw them away. And um, their other products work so well for me that I do not really need extra sheet masks. But once in a while, I do like using them. So um, if they have these kinds of like deals, then um, I usually try to get them for free. And uh, yeah, this is my first free mask. I think uh, that's the exact same in the other package. Another free mandalic acid. Yes, you're coming with me as well. And yes, the same samples and a, another sheet mask. Yeah, baby. So yeah, I have got a buttload of free samples, but these aren't the only free sheet masks that I got. I also got two rich, moist, soothing tensil sheet masks for extra moisture by Claire's, my favorite brand and Midnight Blue Calming Sheet Masks, so two of them. But I'm not done yet, there is more. I also got these two multi-function cotton pads. Yes, these always come in handy. And to top it off, the very last item, it's actually one that I wanted to purchase, but I got it for free, which is the Quick Dry Microfiber Towel. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. That feels nice. There's a really soft side on this side, and this is a rougher side. So there are two different sides. And there is a this cute by Wish Trend logo. I think it's the perfect size for drying your face. Look. Yes, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh my god, I actually forgot free stuff. There's even more free stuff. Even more free stuff. I got two mugwort masks. And if you've seen my previous video, then you know that I love my mugwort essence. It only has one ingredient and it works wonders for my skin. And actually, since I filmed that video, I've started using it every single day, twice a day. And my skin has never looked this good. So getting these mugwort masks for free, I am super happy. Super happy! So those were my free items. So I am a very happy bunny. The first thing that I put in my cart was this supper preparation all over lotion. And um, I talked about this in my previous video and it has worked wonders for the skin on the rest of my body. So um, I use different products for my face, but this is perfect for the rest of your body, especially when you leave the shower. Um, so I use this when I get out of the shower and it is amazing. You don't have to reapply it because your skin just stays hydrated. And um, I don't know why I did this, but um, it stays hydrated. And I think that is uh, because of the hyaluronate that is in uh, this product, which is also in uh, the Supper Preparation Facial Toner. Yes, I got this as well because this is my all-time favorite toner and it is full of 
Hyaluronic and Lipidure and Centella Asiatica, which is really good for your skin in general. So yes, these two were a must for me. Um, I still haven't used all of my previous products, so I will leave these untouched until I need them. Now the next item is actually one that I started using as soon as the package arrived. Um, I used the sample that I got previously and fell in love with it and it is this illuminating supple blemish cream from Dear Claire's and it has SPF 40 in it so this is a very diverse product it has SPF 40 which means it is basically a sunscreen but it is also that is why I bought it a foundation and it's not really I mean the use you use it like a BB cream but if you look at my skin I'm not wearing any foundation the only thing that I'm wearing is this and I've been getting a lot of compliments ever since I started using this product because it is not only a very good foundation um, it's actually also a primer so it is a foundation which has a primer in it um, and it's also a sunscreen. So this is basically all you need for your skin. I don't need another foundation, I don't need a separate sunscreen and I don't need to use primer. It's all in here. And the best thing is that it does not break me out at all and on top of that it improves wrinkles and it made my skin really soft and smooth so um usually bb creams are very very light and they do not cover up very well they have a slight tint in the cream um which covers up a bit but um this actually works just as well as a regular foundation the coverage is full it is a full blown coverage which i love because let's face it i need it and to top it all off it also has sebum control so it actually controls the amount of sebum that my skin expels so uh yeah it actually helps to reduce breakouts as well so this is like a holy grail product for me this is everything the only only downside to this product is that this product only comes in one color so I am fortunate enough that my skin matches this color this color is actually maybe slightly lighter than I would like it still looks natural but it's like I just want it like tiny bit darker just to make my skin a bit more healthy and glowy um so i'm not sure in the summer how well this color will fit me but 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 there is a solution because when you use this you can actually put a drop of foundation in it so you just put this on the back of your hand then put a drop of your favorite foundation in it and then just mix it up and then you can use it and it should match your skin tone uh, but yeah if you have very very dark skin then it will be very difficult to use this product unfortunately and because I loved the mugwort essence so so much I bought it again so my current mugwort essence is actually full till about here so I've only used this in about six months time. So this stuff lasts a long time, uh, but I, I have to be fair because previously I didn't use it every single day or I used it once a day and now I use it twice a day. So that's why I bought one of these. Then of course I bought another mandelic acid 5% skin prep water and uh, mine is actually, um, I think it's about 40% full still, um, but 
I do use it regularly so I got this as well and of course the green tea and enzyme powder wash which I talked about in my previous video as well because let's face it um, you have to cleanse your skin twice a day so I use this a lot um, so I got this again as well now I actually realized that I made a mistake I actually wanted to get the like try out the ginseng serum but instead of that i bought another vitamin tree gel but i had already bought it so i got two of them now but yeah i got this specifically for thailand because the texture of the vitamin tree water gel is super super light i can actually open this one for you because i do not have another one so as you can see it has a very gel like structure and it applies super light on the skin. This is amazing for summertime because it does apply so light, but um, it's not hydrating enough in the winter time because in the winter time, your skin gets even more dehydrated, um, especially if you put on, you know, um, the heat in the house and um, it's already dry outside as well so it's dry outside and cold and then when you go in then um, it dries out your skin as well due to the heat so um, yeah it um, it's not a very great product to use in the winter but I got this for Thailand so that is perfect now for the winter time I use the Zimogen Centella Ferment Cream but I recently found out that uh, there are actually parabens in that product which I wasn't aware of uh, but when I looked it up um, yeah I was sad to find out that there are parabens in it because it was working or it is working uh, really well for my skin but I don't want to use any parabens and that kind of stuff because it does mess with your hormones and um, my hormones aren't that stable as it is um, that's why I've had acne throughout my life so I really need to be careful about that um, and also I just don't like to use harsh chemicals and toxins on my skin and in my food and I just I like to live a healthy lifestyle basically um, so I'd like to use products that are as natural as possible and that do not contain any harsh chemicals so um, when I found out that the Centella Firm Cream actually did have those things um, yeah I was quite sad about that so I started looking for a replacement and because Claire's is my favorite brand I decided to go for Claire's and also because they do not test on animals and I love animals and I am very much against animal testing so that is also a very important thing for me when it comes to buying products um, I don't want, want it to be tested on animals so uh, I tried one of the samples from Claire's which is the rich soothing cream and I actually read some mixed reviews because some people seem to break out um, from this product but other people do not and I used the sample um, and it didn't break me out at all I also tried the midnight blue cream but that one did break me out actually so some people seem to prefer the midnight blue cream because that one doesn't break them out but with me it was the other way around so um, this didn't break me out and the midnight blue cream did break me out immediately after like applying it like after an hour or the next day I would just have acne um, so yeah that wasn't a great product for me but um, this one did work for me you use this after cleansing toner and serum and then you pat the moisturizer onto your face using your fingertips so this is what it looks like it is a it's not really a super thick cream but um yeah it's a lot thicker than the water gel obviously so personally my advice to you if you are afraid that a cream might break you out 
try the sample first. And Wish Trend always provides free samples with each order. The next product is actually one that I also own and which is also in my top 12. It is the Tekka Berry 1% Cream um, from By Wish Trend and um, this is just wonderful if you have like irritated skin or very dry skin. I use it under my nose when I've got a cold and it's just it feels a bit sensitive. It helps build up the skin barrier, it soothes the skin and it has a anti-irritating effect and if your skin is like red or if you've popped a pimple and you put it on there then the redness will disappear as well. So yeah, this is a wonderful product but I do not use this regularly, only when I need to, um, which is maybe a couple of times a week. I mainly use it under my nose basically. Or if I've extracted some like blackheads then it's a bit red from the extraction then I put it on to soothe the skin afterwards. Now my freshly juiced vitamin drop was almost empty so I got a new one and I do really like this product. It helps to brighten the skin and it also has Centella Asiatica in it but um, I do not use this every single day. I try to use it like every other day because it does make your skin a bit more sensitive because it does have vitamin C in it um, but this is actually a very mild vitamin C serum. So I usually do not use any harsher than this vitamin C products. And uh, vitamin C actually helps to boost the collagen levels within your skin. Um, and I have a lot of like acne, uh, deep acne scars. And if I put this on my face, then my skin produces a bit more collagen and my acne scars seem less prominent so that's why I use a vitamin C product and again this is the only vitamin C product that I use because it is the mildest one on the market. Now besides using the rich moist soothing cream I also got the rich moist soothing serum because I also um, tried that sample and it is amazing. It truly is amazing stuff so i had to get it so this is what it looks like and it is yeah it is a serum so it is really light and it focuses on hydrating the skin so especially for winter time i like to use this as well it basically has the same ingredients as the supple preparation facial toner but this is a bit thicker so it's thinner than the cream but thicker than the toner so this is kind of something in between but it works really well for my skin my skin loves this stuff um so yeah i had to get this as well now the midnight blue soothing cream broke me out when i used the sample but um i decided to get the midnight blue youth activating drops and they help with anti-aging and I am not the youngest I am 31 years old so yes I do need wrinkle care come come well oh, yeah, there you go so this is what the bottle looks like and as you can see it truly is blue 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 oh there you go Look, it doesn't make your skin blue, so <laughs> it is very safe to use. Now the next item that I got is actually a mechanical scrub. It is this gentle black sugar facial polish from Claire's and it actually is a scrub made from black sugar, I think. Yeah, black sugar facial polish. And I haven't used a mechanical scrub in a while because I use the 5% mandelic acid. But I I thought it might be might be good to use this at certain times when um, I want to use a vitamin C product, but I also want to exfoliate. Um, because you can't mix those products so you can't mix the mandelic acid with a vitamin C product because that will make your skin too sensitive. It doesn't really, like, I can't really explain the smell. It doesn't smell sweet or anything. 
it smells herbal, like herbally, like, like plant extracts and that kind of stuff. That's what it, it smells all natural. So that's good. It smells, it smells natural, no like artificial fragrances. It's not actually black, it's more brown. Yeah, and it actually looks like light brown or something. Oh, it smells really natural. It's really nice. And um, yeah, it is a mechanical scrub. So yes, it is a bit rough, but that's what it was made to do. It's made to be rough. Now I got another essence. Yes, and I do love the mugwort essence. It is my everything. It is one of my holy grail products. But I actually got very curious about the Magnolia Wake essence. It's also by I Am From, just like the mugwort essence. But I did read in a review that there is fragrance in it. And it does say fragrance. It's the last ingredient, so there's not much of it in there. But yeah, that is a bit of a downside for me, because I mean, if you have pure magnolia, then it should smell like magnolia. So why do you add any fragrance in it? And also, it is a skincare product and it's not a perfume so why why do you put fragrance in skincare products i don't understand um but i'm from is known to be a very natural brand so yeah i was surprised to read that but i was still curious i still wanted to try it out because i do love essential oils and yeah i just wanted to try magnolia because i also believe in the therapeutic abilities of like scents so um yeah i don't know what magnolia will do for me therapeutically but it might like give me like a happiness boost or something i don't know but, but it might have like emotional effects on me uh, like uh, essential oils do so um i do not know we'll see we'll see uh but yeah that's why i wanted to try this product so this is the bottle it is a glass bottle and it is gorgeous it looks very, very high quality and the drops are pink. They're like these. Oh, hmm. It is a lot thicker than the Mugwort Essence when it comes to consistency. And yeah, it does smell really good. Uh, it's actually very mild, but I do smell like a tiny hint of artificial fragrance. So yeah, I can actually smell the artificial fragrance in there but it is very very mild so maybe if i didn't know that there was artificial fragrance in it then um i wouldn't have noticed i don't know but now that i smell it i actually do sense a hint of artificialness in this product but yeah i am really Curious what this will do for my skin. Now on to the last product. Now, um, I am not sure if this is a product that I will be using every single day because it is actually a sunscreen. But because I do use the supple blemish cream, I don't know how much I will use this one. I bought it for like my entire body and then I realized, oh right, it is not for your entire body. This is probably for your face. Um, <laughs> so I'm not sure how much I will use it, but it has an SPF of 50 so it is perfect for thailand so yes that is why i got this it is spf 50 plus broad spectrum sunscreen a water-based gel texture and vegan friendly oh yeah oh it feels amazing actually it feels amazing and it got absorbed by my skin immediately i hope that there are no harsh chemicals in this I try to avoid nanoparticles because it's actually the nanoparticles that get into your skin and you don't really want to have those chemicals absorbed by your skin. But I can't read it on here. It's not on it's not in the ingredients list. So I think it'll be fine because usually they use like reflective metals. 
I forgot the word, I will put it right here. They use like these things to reflect so that the sun just bounces off your skin basically. So that's how sunscreen works but if you have like sunscreen with nanoparticles in it then those chemicals, those harsh like metals get absorbed by your skin and goes into your skin and you don't want harsh metals in your body because your body has a hard time expelling those um, chemicals so the only way to release those kinds of metals is by doing detoxes with chlorella but um those things don't seem to be actually in here because it's not in the ingredients list so i think it'll be fine but it does make me wonder like what what makes it a spf 50 I don't know. I mean, it's by Claire's and Claire's is known to have like products without a lot of harsh chemicals in them. So I think it'll be fine. I can't really like judge this stuff until I have read like everything about the ingredients and what makes it an SPF 50, but that's just me. I'm just very aware of what I put on my body and what I put in my body. So yes, that was my haul. Those are all the products that I bought. I want to get even more, obviously. But um, yeah, I do have a budget. I don't have endless amounts of funds to spend on skincare. Now I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and if you have a question then feel free to leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you won't miss any new videos.